Good morning and welcome to my channel. It is nice and early, like 50, 60 degrees outside. It is fall and I'm just in heaven. I like my fireplace on. I like this warm cup of coffee right here and I like to play with makeup. So I thought in this video we could get ready together, grab a drink, grab a coffee. I obviously have my coffee here uh, and I'm so excited to put some makeup on. I kind of picked some palettes that I've been wearing in fall. Honestly, the one I've been using a lot is this gold palette from Natasha Denona, but it's discontinued. Like how? This is my favorite Natasha Denona palette. So I'm not gonna use this because I feel like I'm gonna put salt on the wounds, but I will play with other palettes that are still available and I found, I found such an amazing foundation and concealer. That's the Bare Mineral um, Liquid Mineral Foundation and like the concealer. Actually, some of you guys told me I should try this and yeah, I've been absolutely loving it. I also picked up some like Maybelline lipsticks, like fall colors, and I have some thoughts on those too, and I'll just try them on with you. So if you're interested, continue watching. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe down below and let's put some makeup on. My nose is red and my chin because I've like been picking at it and now it's just itching me. So let's start with foundation. I already prepped my skin. It's nice and moisturized. I don't have any actual primer is just a moisturizer and I think that's enough because this foundation from Bare Minerals, this is the original liquid mineral foundation. It is so good. It's kind of liquidy, hence the name. And this is um, in neutral medium shade 15. I actually picked this up when Sephora had their like, um, what, 20% off foundations and I had to return like a foundation, oh, this one, the Lawless. Um, I picked two shades and one was so light, even though it said light medium, that I, I had to return it because it was really bad. So I picked up another shade that matched me really well. That is, is this Citrine? So I have Tawny here, which is the deeper one, and I think I bought Citrine, and that one works really well for me. Um, and I've been really enjoying that Lawless foundation, but I was swapping it and I saw this and remembered that some of you guys were like, oh, you should try that. I think you would really love it. And wow, isn't it so beautiful? It is liquid. It blends into the skin perfectly. I would say it's good medium coverage um, and I can build it up a little bit. I wouldn't say that I can get a full out of it, but I get a a good medium coverage which is all i want <laughs> i don't really like full coverage so i have been looking everywhere for the new l'oreal uh, serum foundation i've had a couple of requests and um i looked everywhere i looked at least i kid you not 10 stores so far in the past two three days and i cannot find it anywhere at least the lighter shades they're all sold out and um you know I, I should order it online but i'm just like stubborn and i just wanted it that day um and i wanted to review it but i i couldn't find it so i am planning to pick that up and let you guys know what i think about it i'm not a huge fan of like drugstore makeup overall it's probably because i don't have enough knowledge uh, of the drugstore. I used to buy more drugstore a few years ago, but lately I've just been purchasing a lot of higher end makeup. Um, and I just enjoy that so much, but I know L'Oreal has some of my most favorite foundations at the drugstore. They have great concealers. They have so many good things. So when I saw that they had that serum foundation, I really was interested and wanted to pick it up. But again, I haven't found it yet, but when I do, I will definitely uh, review it or put it in a get ready with me. I know there's so many reviews out there, but um, some of you have asked for my thoughts on that. So I will give them to you when I find that foundation. I'm gonna take my corrector. This is from NARS and this is in the color light. And I'll just add a little bit here. I've really been enjoying this product. It's a little bit more liquidy, obviously, than the um, Charlotte Tilbury one that I have. 
and I find that it's easier to blend in and it gives me less texture overall just because it is so liquidy. I really have been enjoying it. I, I don't know if I enjoy it more than the Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't made, my, <laughs> made up my mind about that, but I really do enjoy it a lot. And it blends in so fast. It cancels just enough. And I really like it. So I picked up the concealer from Bare Minerals from the Liquid Mineral Concealer. I have mine in 2C. So with this one, I've had a little bit of issue. I wanted to get the neutral one, but it was so yellow that I felt like I wanted a little bit of a peachy undertone. Uh, I really don't like yellow concealers. It, with my skin tone, it really doesn't look good. So I swatched this one and it was like, oh yes, this is more neutral to me. It's not, it doesn't seem cool tone at all. And I picked up um, pretty much the same color as the foundation. I talked about this in other videos, but I really don't like a lighter concealer overall. I feel like um, it just emphasizes my circles, like dark circles. So I really like taking the same color concealer and foundation. So this concealer is very liquidy. It uh, blends in so fast. It's kind of thin, but it has like a medium coverage, I would say, and it's so beautiful on the skin. It just looks um, a little bit glowy, radiant. Uh, it's not too much. It doesn't feel thick at all. And I've been really enjoying it, mostly for just an easy makeup. It's it's so beautiful. And for me, it covers exactly how much I want to cover. I don't like a super light coverage concealer. I think I need to cover a little bit something, but uh, I also don't like super full coverage. That's why I use correctors. But I think the skin looks so good, so fresh, and I'm, I'm so glad I picked these up. I know they've been out for a little bit, but um, this is my go-to right now, mostly in the fall season where I, you know, I'm not ready for full coverage. I'm not ready for like tinted moisturizer. I just want a good medium coverage. Um, yeah, I'm really liking them. I will powder though because I put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream on as a primer slash moisturizer and that is, that's pretty intense. I've never tried it before, but I was sent with my order from Charlotte Tilbury a small Charlotte Tilbury um, cream and this is the first time I used it. It's very, very intense. So I will powder. Under my eyes, I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath one and set my under eyes and then I will powder all over with my Dior one because that one is also um, a very, very light coverage. It's called like no powder powder, which it's kind of what it is. It's like a powder, but you don't see it on the skin. It doesn't look like powder. So um, yeah, I like that name because it represents what it actually is. The only thing with this one is that it does get hard pain but I take a fluffy brush like this. This is from Ulta. It brushes from Ulta. And this picks up really well. Um, I don't know what it does. Maybe because these are spikier. But it picks up through uh, the hard paint. And you can definitely take like a tape and like remove that top layer. But I, I didn't bother doing that. If I didn't put that Charlotte Tilbury cream on, I wouldn't have powder everywhere. But I really think that that's so like thick, which I do enjoy. I probably should have left it like an hour before or something to where I didn't feel like it would move my foundation. But yeah, that looks good. I like that. So for contour, I've actually been using this from Vanity Makeup. I am planning to do a full review on the palette and the contour from them, like the trio. Uh, I've tried to do that video, I would say at least three times, and something always happens. Like either my kids woke up and I had to pause, or um, I ordered the wrong shade, then I wanted to do a like very thorough um, a review on them, so I ordered the other shade, so I had to wait till this came. So. 
it's just been i've tried i've had these for like a month in the palette i think about them that, that long uh, and i haven't gotten around to doing a good video it's always something that i'm missing and because they're so expensive i really wanted to give you guys a really in-depth um video with multiple looks so anyway but I will use this today because I've been using this every single day since I bought it and I mainly use the contour and sometimes this one. I'll show you the lighter color. So this is the lightest color that they carry and this is the medium and when I ordered the palette I bought the lightest one because I didn't even know there were different options but that was my bad. I think they're out of stock and um, I didn't even think about it i just got it but i um ordered the one in medium and the one in medium looks really good as you can tell like this is a very cool tone and this is more warm tone i also um you know i ordered medium there was a light medium i think but i ordered the medium because i can combine these two and i actually needed a good contouring set for my kit for more very very fair skin and this works real well i also got their brushes it's like a mini review right now um but i'm really glad i did because i really like it i, I like the way it works this has like a dual ended brush and uh, it works well with the product so i am taking this one that looks scary but um it blends in so so nicely so i applied with this side which is really really nice i really like this um brush and then blending it in with the other side and you'll see that it blends um it blends really nicely it looks scary in the beginning but it blends nice And so I never thought I would use this shade right here. And honestly, most of the time is I don't. But right now, let's say I went a little bit too heavy on the contour. I'll put it a little bit on this side. And just clean it up. It's actually more practical than I thought having this color here. Uh, because it's so creamy that it actually it actually does a great great job and then i can go back in the contour and blend it in and i will take the highlighter the highlighter has a little bit too much yellow in it for me but i can make it work it's really pretty and i actually like combining it with a lighter shade um, because this light one is white <laughs> So it kind of balances each other. And remember, this is all over um, already powdered skin. So it really works so well. So that's this little contour palette. I will put a bronzer on top of this. Um, you could definitely just keep it with this because the color is a little bit more warm. It's not super cool tone, but I do like putting um, a powder all over. Um, but I've really been using these every day and that's why I use them in this video because it is something that it's been in my top drawer since i bought it for an all over bronze i will take the huda glowish bronzer this also has been in my collection in my top drawer i just adore it um it just looks undetected on the skin but it gives you a nice bronze i think i have mine in shade medium and honestly i feel like when i'm self tan which i'm not right now but when i am i could definitely go like the medium dark or tan I, I don't know the actual shades but i definitely could go a little bit darker so moving on to blush i cannot deny that i've been using this tom ford blush uh, this is the shade illuminate blush in the color o2 explicit 
flush and I've been using this almost daily. I won't always think, is it because I spend so much money on it that I'm forcing myself to use it or is it because I just like it so much and I really think it's a mixture it's because it's so expensive and I want to get my money's worth and I really enjoy the formula I love the way it sits on my skin and I love how long it lasts on my skin and I like the tone so it's kind of all in one I mainly focus on this shade and dabble a little bit on on the other shade but mostly for fall um, I like this lighter shade. It has more of a nude undertone. And then once I add a little bit of that peach, it just brightens up a little bit. I think what I like most about this blush is the texture, just how it blends so well on the skin. Um, I find it very, very flattering. I've used it um, on other skin tones as well. I just wanted to see how it works and it works so, so well. I never have an issue with this blending or showing up. It's more pigmented overall than you think. Like on my skin, I feel like I've only used this light one and I think it it's a little bit brighter than um, in the pan. And then if I want to add a little bit of this, I'll show you. Um, just gives a little bit more flush. And that's the blush I've been using almost daily. So the highlighter from the Vanity Makeup, I used it a little bit, but it's not, it's really pretty. The shade's just a tiny bit off. So usually I go with this Westman Atelier. This is in Nectar and this is their highlighter. And I take a little bit on my finger and just dab it here. I really like the effect that this has. It's a very soft and pretty, and um, I've been using this a lot. Also the convenience, it's just right here. I really don't need a brush or anything. I just tap it in and it just makes my cheeks look so healthy. So this is a complexion done. I've been using this almost every day, these products. So I'm gonna do my brows and then come and do the eyes with you guys. All right, I've been using this brow gel from Kosas since my last video and I love it so much. I did put a little bit of my Gucci brow product, but overall I can just use this one and my brows look pretty darn good. So, so good, so good. I have the color brown black. For the eyes, I haven't done a ton to my eyeshadow. I try to wear kind of clean mascara, um, sometimes just an all over brown or just more of that orangey brown. So I will put something on. The two palettes that I have here is the Patrick Ta uh, palette and this is the Lawless, the little one. Yeah, the one little. Um, and this is how this looks like. And as you can tell, this for me screams kind of fall. It has all these browns here and they're so, so good. The quality is amazing. Honestly, I don't use the shimmers that much. Um, it's not that they're bad. They're just kind of soft and I'm not all about that, but I do really like the mattes. And uh, this is the palette from Patrick Ta. Uh, I adore this palette. It is beautiful. Some of these shades have gotten some hard pan, like this one right here. And, you know, I make it work. It still picks up, but that's something to note that these will get some harder pan um, because of the texture that they have. But I can still use them. It doesn't really bother me. Um, let's just use the Patrick Ta. I feel like I haven't used it a lot in my videos and I really enjoy this one. Um, and I like that it has the toppers, the shimmers and the mattes and I really like these creams right here. I think they're beautiful. So I'm actually gonna start with the creams. I'm gonna take the lighter one and put it on my outer corner. I actually, these creams are such good quality. They do not move and you can definitely build on top of them. I feel like it's a good base 
and honestly i really like wearing them by themselves as well i think it gives you that beautiful kind of slightly smokier um eyeshadow without being too much and i like that it's cream because the texture even though the color is kind of a boring the texture is just a little bit more unique so i will take that under my eyes as well then i'm going to take this color right here and i am going to just blend those edges the brush is extremely fluffy and big and i just want it to look kind of seamless and one of my favorite mattes from here is this color right here it has like a reddish undertone but it's so so beautiful so we'll take a pencil brush and i'm going to take this around my lower lash line and upper lash line just smudge it just to give a little bit of um, more depth i don't want to make this look extremely dark but i do want it to have a little bit more depth i will take another bigger fluffy brush and take this color right here and just blend these edges I'm not going to do any shimmer on the eye. I really like a really matte look for the fall. I will take this color right here and I will put it in my inner corner. This is the only like shimmer that I would put on and this is just more to brighten up this area. And that's kind of all I want to do on the eyes. I will put mascara and I'll be right back. I'm going to tight line on the top part with black and the on the lower lash line with a nude color. And then we're going to move on to lips. The mascara I've been using is the new Rare Beauty Mascara. And it is so lovely. I really like it. I think it gives a lot of length. It has decent volume and it doesn't smudge, which is like my top priority um okay moving on to lips so the lipsticks i wanted to try are uh two from the drugstore which is so unlike me this is the maybelline one this is called the color sensational matte lipstick and the color is more taupe and then this other one is the superstay ink crayon and then the color is stop at nothing uh, i did wear this one the other day and i tried this one on and then i also did use this nars one i bought it for more fall and this is in the color thrust um there was another color loose control or something like that that i really liked it seemed a little bit deep and i'm like will i really wear that often that color um so i picked this one but i've tried all of them and I have thoughts. So starting with this one from Maybelline, the little pencil one. The color is beautiful. I just love this color so much. The problem I had with this one is it just kind of moved everywhere. And I would get like, like patchiness within 15 minutes of wearing it. It was kind of moving around and disappearing. Um, and I just, I loved the color. I just like kind of felt insecure wearing it, that it wouldn't stay in place. Um, the same thing happened with this NARS one. This is, um, what's this called? The Air Matte Lip Color. And I really liked the way it applied, the way it felt on. It was stunning. Um, absolutely like gorgeous the problem I had I'm not even exaggerating within 15 minutes if it, it looked like it was gone and fading um, that's the color right here it really just uh, it just disappeared and I will say that these from NYX these are the powder puff lippies 
they are pretty much the exact same as the NARS ones. Uh, if anything, the formula is even a little bit better because it's it's just a little bit more even on the lips. So I'll swatch this one right here. This one's a little deeper and more mauve -y. This color that I have here is in Cool Intentions. And as you can tell from the swatch, this is a little bit more streaky and this is a little bit more pigmented, but the texture is similar. It's very airy. I actually really enjoy this formula from both of them, but this one stays on like a long time. This one fades within 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong because it has a great reviews and I love the way it feels on the lips, the way it looks initially, but it's gone within 15 minutes. And then the one that surprised me the most is this one from Maybelline, the Ultimate Matte Color Sensation. And I really liked the color. I'll swatch it right here. I really like the color. I like the intensity that it has and it lasted on my lips really, really well. Um, so out of all of these, I definitely think the Maybelline one is the best. Um, I'm really trying to make the other ones work. I tried a lip liner with this one from NARS and it stayed a little bit better, but it was still like in the center. It was gone within 15, 20 minutes and I didn't eat or anything. So let me know if you guys have had that issue because I love the formula so much. I wonder if it's just this color. Maybe I should pick the other color uh, up. But anyway, I will... Uh, I'll try them all on so you guys can see. Let's do that. I put a lip liner, my M Cosmetics Mink, and let's start start with the NARS one. So it has this really cool applicator. I actually really like it. It's a little skinnier and pointier and it's kind of stiff. Uh, so it spreads the product really well. So this is the NARS one. How pretty is that color? I, I love it so much. I think it's so flattering. It's not too intense, but it gives you a little bit of color. I really, really like this color. I just wish it stayed on longer. I will actually put this to wear all day and I will leave in my description just my thoughts about it. Maybe it lasted a little bit better. Maybe yesterday my lips were just too oily. I don't know, but um, really pretty. This is the NARS Air Matte. What color is this? <laughs> Thrust. All right, I'm gonna take this off now and put the Maybelline one. So I haven't really tried a ton of drugstore lipsticks in a while. So I was really impressed with the colors that they had. Like this color, I think out of all of them was my favorite. Again, not my favorite formula, but uh, the color is so pretty. So this is how it looks like. It's nice and opaque. Uh, a couple of things that I didn't love about it. Uh, the texture is really nice when you apply it, but it kind of dries, but not fully. So it's a little sticky i wouldn't say it's like a lip gloss stick but you kind of feel it and i think because of that it kind of moves it's a bit too waxy um but it's trying to be matte so when you press your lips together i think it moves the product a little bit so that's why i think it doesn't stay long enough honestly i don't think i tried it with a lip liner so i may have to try it with a lip liner and see if that keeps it more in place but I love this color for me and my skin tone. It's such a pretty fall color. It's not too much. Obviously, all of these are kind of the same colors pretty much, but um, yeah, loving this one. Okay, so let's try the last one. This is the Maybelline. All these names are so tiny. A color Sensation Matte Lipstick. Um, and it's it's really nice uh, bullet lipstick. It's a thin one. It has good pigmentation. And I really like the color. And this is how it looks like. I would say that this one is the deepest out of all of them, but it does stay much better on. Again, this is in the color 799, more taupe. 
and I really like it. I think this is a good fall color um, and it stays on the best out of all of them. It has a really intense pigmentation. It's not as waxy. I don't really feel it on my lips. Um, and yeah, this is the win out of these three that I've bought for this fall overall. Um, I really want to make this NARS one uh, work because I think it feels so good on the lips. It looks beautiful. I love the color. I just, it doesn't stay on. So if you guys have any tips or if you had similar experience, let me know. All right, so this is the final look for my fall everyday makeup. Um, many times I don't even do much on the eyes. I just put mascara and a lipstick like this and I'm done. I also want to say that this one from Rare Beauty, this is the color Brave. It's a favorite and also two from um, the Bite Beauty, the color Harissa, which is a lot like the Bite, uh, a lot like the Rare Beauty. I'm confused. It's more of this burnt orangey color and then also the color chai of course it's like the last one kind of gives me a bit more fall vibes as well because on me it's just a little bit more darker uh, i honestly prefer more the orange type um but this does work for fall as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any recommendations for fall lipsticks leave them down below because i really don't have many. I'm such a nude person that I don't have many a little bit darker for fall and I was walking through Sephora and I was just a little bit like I didn't know which ones to pick so leave your recommendations down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!